3C, take two. For me, drawing has always been the most fundamental way of engaging the world. I, I'm convinced that it is only through drawing that I actually look at things carefully. And the act of drawing makes me conscious of what I'm looking at. If I wasn't drawing, I have a sense that I would not be seeing. I'm working on a book called Drawing is Thinking, which basically explores this idea. The introduction to the book is written by a guy named Frank Wilson who wrote a remarkable book called The Hand. I went to a lecture of his in Boston a few months ago and at the lecture he said that when children are prevented from drawing their brains don't develop fully. I found that a very compelling argument for why drawing is essential to understanding form. Right now, because drawing seems to be so alien from the idea of making a living, the art schools basically abandon drawing as an activity because they could not deal with the number of computer programs that they had to institutionalize. And so now while people have what they need perhaps for their professional life, what they don't have is a fundamental instrument for understanding the reality of that life. So for me, drawing has always been an absolutely primary way of encountering reality. I'm astonished by drawing. I always think of every drawing as a kind of miraculous occurrence. It takes a while to do drawing that you find interesting. Curiously, people think that the difficulty of drawing is in making things look accurate. But accuracy is the least significant part of drawing. But you have to learn how to draw accurately before you could do anything else. Then you can begin to think about drawing expressively. And that's another game entirely. So here's a picture of Shakespeare. I've done 50 or 60 of them, perhaps more, over the last couple of years because I'm doing uh, work for a theatrical company, the theater for new audiences that does Shakespeare primarily in a contemporary way. So now I know what to do when I have to do a picture of Shakespeare. The great benefit is that nobody knows what Shakespeare really looked like. So you can take whatever liberties you feel appropriate.